Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. I am Cole at Kitschy Flower. So today's video is going to be a really fun one. I am actually headed to Shambly, Georgia for uh, a certain item in particular I'm hoping that is still there. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, I'm actually already filming this after, <laughs> after uh, I had found the said item. So future Cole says hello and then let's play the clip. All right, you guys, let's get back into it. We are currently here at the Antique Factory in Shambly, Georgia. So as you step in, uh, your eyes, honestly, there are just so many places to look. Uh, they have such a great array of truly some of the best vintage and antiques you will find. Uh, like this awesome life-size Barbie mannequin. Oh my gosh, she was originally a store display. And I swear if I had the room or the little extra uh, few grand for her, I'd probably pick her up. You just do not see those all too often. But as I am going around, I mean, first off, we see Miss Amy Winehouse, RIP. Uh, but we just see a little bit of this and that. I mean, if you are truly looking to find some really unique uh, pieces for your home or studio, uh, this would definitely be a great place to check. They really do have a great array. Uh, I do believe this is maybe the second or third time I've been in. Uh, but it's always such a treat. As you can see, I mean, there is something high and low. I absolutely loved this cute uh, pirate guy. I'm sure he was a cartoon character or some mascot of sorts, but he's just too fantastic. Uh, the awesome old baby stroller. Oh my goodness. And they do not have the shortage of just <laughs> unique things really isn't like any other. Uh, I mean, I did spot uh, one of my favorites is a Keen, a big eyed piece of art. Oh my gosh, by Margaret Keen, of course. Quite the large size. I actually might, if it's still there, go back for it next time because it was quite the showstopper. I love is, like I said, it's a good mixture. So there are a bunch of vintage toys, like this little animal hospital vinyl case and this awesome big like animatronic clown, I'm assuming, uh, that blows bubbles. And you know, just full on <laughs> life-size figures in bathtubs of sorts. I just, I'm honestly having so much fun watching this back. Uh, I don't know if you spotted the huge Hello Kitty, but I did spot some cute vintage trolls. Uh, this one, I don't think you can tell how big he is, but he is quite the large guy. And of course there is that Miss Kitty painting on over through. I know uh, when I go to furnish my apartment in the future, I will definitely be coming here. Uh, for some really unique pieces. And a huge shout out to Peter, the owner of the Antique Factory. I got to talking with him and it actually turns out he knows my dad who's in the same field and, and sorts. But uh, he was super sweet enough to let me fully film and just really take in the whole place to show you guys. Look at these awesome gnomes. I absolutely loved those. I think those are part of like his future online auction with these awesome old transformers. So cool. And I mean, if kitty flowers aren't kitsch, I don't know what is. Uh, Pinning on over to some great lucite grapes. Uh, and just, I mean, I don't even know where to start. There's just so much in this place. I just, I'm in awe. Thanks so much again, Peter. All right, you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I thought I would show you the little guy I ended up getting. Uh, he is terrific. Again, he is a mini monster made by Ideal Toys in 1965. This is a little Drackey, uh, little vampire guy. So he doesn't have his original shoes, 
Um, but he does still have his little um, telescope. No, no. Stethoscope. Not gonna lie, I had to look it up. <laughs> but he does have the rest of his outfit. Um, but yeah, he's pretty fantastic. Uh, thank you again, shout out Peter, for uh, giving me a sweet little deal on this guy. I really do appreciate it. Uh, and it turns out he has already found a home. Uh, he, which is, I mean, hard to believe. He's pretty fantastic. These guys are pretty rare. Um, I ended up trading him to a fellow toy friend uh, for another doll. So. Anyways, I'm going to actually get him shipped out in the next day or so, and he'll be uh, living in California. So yeah, I had a lot of fun at the Antique Factory. I hope you guys had a fun time watching it. But yeah, it was it was a fun experience. Uh, I definitely recommend if you're ever in the Chambly area, uh, go check out uh, the Antique Factory. It is such a great one. You are going to find a lot of really incredible finds. So I think that wraps up the rest of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and until the next one, bye you guys.